Scout. We're we going fishing. We're we going fishing. We're going fishing, Scout. We're going Love fishing. fishing. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing with Nordby. My wife Cody and I are out here. We're going to do some fishing out of a canoe tonight. It is mid-August, so the ponds are just starting to transition into kind of the fall fishing. The grass is really starting to grow up because the weather's just getting a tiny bit cooler. It's starting to grow and be lush and green and fill out around these ponds. So I'm probably going to throw a frog a lot tonight. I got a popping frog tied on. And then we're probably going to throw a weightless sinko right on the edge of the grass. Fish like to hang right on the edge of grass sometimes. We also have our dog Scout out here tonight. We're excited to take him on his first canoe ride. Let's go catch some fish. We're gonna dump the canoe in here real quick. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using for starters. First off, I'm using this Live Target Poppin' Frog. It's got a nice soft nose on it that pops water really well. Uh, it's got some big old hooks, give you a good hookup rate. Uh, the body's real nice and soft. It's one of my favorite frogs. Kicks out a little splash too. Second bait I'm gonna be throwing is this Tightline's UV Cinco. Right now I have it Texas rigged. I'll probably start off throwing it on a Texas rig, but I assume I'm gonna go weightless because I don't want it going down in the grass too much. And Cody is also starting out throwing a Texas rig. She is throwing the black and blue Whisker Beaver. You excited, Cody? Yeah, I think I wanna throw a frog. You wanna throw a frog? Yeah, we'll probably both throw a frog for a little while. We just got another frog tied on for Cody. It is a live target, regular frog, not a popping frog, a little more subtle action. Sometimes on these calm days, the subtle action can actually be a lot better. Scout's first canoe ride. Here we go, boy. You don't know what to think. <laughs> here we go and we're off okay here we go first cast with the frogs cody's casting by shore i'm gonna start out here towards the middle and see what happens oh dang babe that was a big blow up still got him on there dang you had a big blow up oh my gosh <laughs> He just jumped in the water! <laughs> He's a wet mess. Oh my, we got a wet dog on our hands now. There we go. We got our dog back. There he is. A fish! We got one, Scout. We're on the board. First frog fish of the day, now that we got our dog back. What do you think, Scout? He says, ooh, fish tail. He's going back. There he goes. Number one on the popping frog. I'm gonna toss the Texas rig on the weed line, see if we can pull the fish right outside of the grass. Oh, I just helped pick it up. Just a dink. Check that out, Scout. What do you think? Another fish. He said, I just want to eat it. Don't eat it. Glad he likes fish. Got to teach your kids young to eat fish. There we go. Not bass, though. You can't eat bass, Scout. When you're fishing this frog, you only want to twitch it a couple inches at a time when it's on top of this thick moss. If you, do, if you move it more than that, a lot of times the fish will blow up right where you just were a little bit ago, and it'll totally miss your frog. There's one right next to shore. Man, this is a skinny dude right here. Super skinny. Unhealthy bass. Wow. Whew. Super tiny. Like that one? That one's too skinny, right? See ya. Let's get another one. All right, Cody is taking off the frog. She wants a weightless Senko for this nice grass edge, kind of the deeper part of the bank. So we're gonna put that on for her. Gonna put on her famous pink hook here. 
it catches all the big ones. Green red flake. There you go, babe. You got one? Yeah, you do. There you go. What, second cast with your Senko? Nice. Good one. You got another one on? Yeah. There you go. I don't know how long he's been on <laughs> Oh, man. That's a good one right there. Wow. Either. Yeah, it is. He was not under the moss. He was out from the moss about five foot. Crushed him. Wow, good one. <laughs> good one, Cody. There you go, there's a three pounder. What do you think about that, Scout? That's a big one. That one's almost as big as you are. All right. See you, buddy. Bite again another day. He thinks he's still caught. There he goes. <laughs> nice. That's a good one. And yes, after that, I'm putting on a weightless Senko as well. Okay, just got four rot hook tied on, putting on this five inch weightless Senko. Since they're hitting Cody so well, that must be the ticket. I cast it right on the edge of these grass lines like she's been doing, and just letting it sink down, and then just twitch it every once in a while when you think it's hit the bottom. And you always want to keep tension on your line, just a little bit. If it ticks, a lot of times the fish picks it up, and I'll just let it sink down for a little while, and then I'll, I'll tick it back up a little bit and just let it fall again. Back to the frog. No luck on the spinner bait. No luck on the weightless Senko. Cody's even tied on her favorite Texas rig beaver coming in out of this grass, and nothing. Wish I had punch him weight. I'd punch through that grass, catch him down under there. Oh my gosh, that fish came all the way out of the water. Yep, you better put on a frog. It's been a slow day up until now. Oh man, thank you. Look at that fish. Oh, that's a grass bass. Look at that frog in his mouth. Totally choked it. Wow, that is a stud. Super fat, super healthy grass bass. Man, he came all the way out of the water just about to eat that frog. That's a five pounder at least. Whoo! Scout still not entertained. This fish is as big as he is. I think it's longer than he is. <laughs> Cody's over here tying on a frog because they're not hitting anything else really. So I threw mine back out there and bam! All right, that's an absolute giant. This bass is probably pushing six pounds with that belly. Just a fat one. Oh, oh man. All right, we're gonna let him go here. See ya. <laughs> there we go. That was awesome. Okay, doesn't get much better than that, catching giants on topwater frogs. Cody and I have both caught a big one tonight now. See if we can get another giant tonight. To do. Oh, Cody's got one. <laughs> there you go. Nice one, Cody. Yeah, Mom, hang on. You, you want to call me back tonight? Sure. Yeah, I'll call you back. Okay. All right, bye. love you, bye. Nice one, babe. Nice. <laughs> Good little 12 incher. Yeah. He crushed it. He missed it and then he came back for it. A lot of times when you get a blow up, you can cast right back over and they'll come eat it. Got him. There's frogs all over the corner of this pond. <laughs> there we go. It is frog season. We could eat some frog legs, but. Yeah. We should have kept all these frogs. Scout. Hey, Scout. Hey, Scout. What do you think? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, babe. Nice. Way up in the shallows. Nice. Now you got him, I think. Just in all the weeds. Yeah. Good one. Right in the slop. There's one. Thank you. And another one on the popping frog. <laughs> Did you get a bite? Oh. There we go. See ya. You get another one? Nice. There you go, babe. Looks like a little better one, maybe. Right up there next to shore, next to those rocks. 
Yeah, you have so much grass. You have to reach down in there and grab him. It looks like a good one though. There you go. That's more like it. Scout says, now you caught a good one. Yeah, you hooked him right in the top of the mouth. Good one. Another two and a half, three pounder. Our little watchdog is back at it. What do you think, Scout? Hey, what do you think, boy? Yeah, you're just a cutest little thing, besides Miss Cody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Look at them teeth. Well, it's getting dark on us. We're gonna stay out here and keep fishing just a little bit longer. If we catch a big one, I'll throw it in after this. But it's been an awesome night. Anytime you catch a fish bigger than your dog, it's a good night. Cody and I both caught some big ones. She caught a couple three pounders. I caught that five and a half to six pounder giant. And we probably caught five to ten little ones apiece. It's been great. They've been crushing the topwater frog. We started out throwing it, caught a few, switched to that Senko. Cody hooked up with a couple instantly, so we fished that Senko a little bit longer. Um, but then we just realized they were still in the grass. So we put the topwater frogs back on, started catching them caught that giant it's just been a great night sometimes you got to figure out what they're wanting to bite hope you enjoy the pond episode it's getting towards fall these bass are going to be hitting top water more and more that means more top water episodes coming your way i hope you enjoy we'll see you guys next time on fishing with norby